on the takeoff roll, it was two weeks ago today, we went to Minneapolis-St. Paul, where this man was inducted into the Minnesota Aviation Hall of Fame two weeks ago today, the youngest, if not one of the youngest individuals ever to be inducted. Here comes Randy Ball, give him a wave in the MiG-17, there goes John Moore, any instructor from World War II would say, don't do this on the takeoff roll, it could be dangerous, but John Moore says, I'll do this, and I'll Now, there was a maneuver that was created quite by a man back in 1936. It was in Miami, Florida, when a young pilot was competing in an aerial cockpit that looked too low. So rather than wish himself through a loop and perhaps have an accident, he did a little something that John is going to show you. And he was the first to do it. His name was Ron with a figure eight laying on his side. So here was Len Colby, he was going to do that move. He got here and he said, this is never going to work. So rather than continue the move, he stopped. He was upside down. He rolled right side up. He had to put his body to the move. It felt so good, he did it again. He drew, he drew out what he called a Cuban eight. At that time, Len Colby was the chief flying instructor for the Cuban Cuban Airport. We have continued to name that and over the Cuban 8, despite our strange relations with that of these dictators. The Lord John Moore now, he will complete the inside of our silver group, the very first one of the aerobatic that was completed by Lincoln B.C. way back in 1913. Okay, out of the loop now, into the barrel roll maneuver. In addition to the receipt of the recipient of the Joe Barber Award for the Fellowship, given at Oscar one time a year to one individual or one team, this man is also the recipient of the Art Soul Memorial Showmanship Award, that too given to one individual or one team, one time a year at our Black Child Awards Banquet in Las Vegas, Nevada, in December. Okay, what he was over to do? and four times. Now John is going to reposition the airplane. Using skill, using the wind, using the wing, and using imagination, he executes that turnaround maneuver that they call, in the United Kingdom, the vertical reverse. He's going to set up and double the difficulty factor. After that four-point hesitation roll, he will stop his airplane every 45 degrees of rotation. See, what's that to take the roll? Give John Moore a big round of applause as he lays that player down to the ground. Now you know when you're watching sports on TV, if they get to a real good play, they say, let's watch that again in slow motion. So John Moore's going to be coming in from the right and doing one of the most difficult maneuvers that a pilot can do. We call it the slow motion roll. Thank you. 
You roll the airplane upside down. Keep climbing, keep climbing, keep climbing. Now you're drawing the loop from the top. Then comes the control stick into a nice start. The right side of that figure eight laying on the side. Again, on the left side, climbing first for an altitude, rolling upside down, holding it there to minimum speed, a nice arching turnaround, you link up the smoke, and again the figure eight in the sky is complete. Now, John, yes, to you. He's about to show you. It is a box. The square loop in the sky. One across the top, one on the right side, one on top, and now the most difficult one. Straight down. As the earth comes up to the enemy, he opens the door, and then he bends it around. Like it's a good one. And the square loop. Oh, this guy is good. Again, I want to tell you, nobody else in the world is doing this. And yes, applause. It is appreciated. Now, we're going to give you a little lesson in your own dynamics. This time, John, after he positions around, is going to be coming back in. At air show center, he's going to pull to the vertical and do a quarter turn. I want you to look at that straight portion of the tail of the airplane. See that red and white at the tail? Watch what it does. It's going to go left. Watch the tail. See that? That's how you do a hammerhead turnaround. All the money you can get, a little bit of aileron, you go straight up, you come straight back down. See that's a repositioning maneuver. Well, with this underpowered airplane, one set of ailerons, unmodified, bought by John, rebuilt by John, and continues to improve. You know that you're at the stop sign around Virginia, going down the highway, you see the stop sign? It's got eight sides. You've got to stop. You might get hurt if you don't stop. The judge could have gone back and then stop for you. One side, two sides, three sides, four across the top for the octagon room, five, six, seven, one more over the six, and four. In the name of Lobo. That boy is a big stop sign in the sky. You can give him a big round of applause. Now we're going to have a little bit of fun. John's going to get an insurance policy. It's called altitude. He's going to be climbing up to 1,000 feet. Wherever we travel, we're privileged to be around John's wife and business partner, Lynn. And John likes to do a tribute maneuver to Lynn when he was inducted to the Minnesota Aviation Hall of Fame two weeks ago today on his week call, the poor man's lump shabak or the double flip for Lynn. From an altitude of a thousand feet, John will induce the aircraft into a double snap roll and then start a series of maneuvers which will execute a roll up and a tail slide. There is the Linmore tribute. All right, now watch this. Dive down, you'll go straight up. Let's fade that music down. Fade the music down. Fade. It's gonna get you back on the tail. And then into a maneuver that took many a pilot into a fiery death. The tail spin. Until Eddie Stinson said, I got nothing to lose, I'll push the stick forward. He survived, and that has been a way to get out of a spin from that day to this. And it is a lesson in life as well. Give in, go with the flow, and you're apt to get your problem solved. You spectators are great. Give John Moore another big round of applause for that series of maneuvers. Now, there is another maneuver. We're going to hold the music on. You know if you grew up in the Midwest in the fall, the maple trees and the oak trees lose their leaves and they fall gently to the ground. This maneuver in an airplane is known as the falling leaf. Shh. It's quiet overhead. The leaves come gently to the ground, coordinating the stick with the rudder and the aileron. John Moore, one of his award-winning signature maneuvers, like the leaf. Continues to fall. Continues to fall. Continues to fall. And then right off the deck, in comes the power down more. Here's your style, ladies and gentlemen. In that World War II trailer. And there's nobody better, I gotta tell you more about. He's a third generation pilot. 
His father is Greg, his grandfather was a barn stormer. They grew up, he grew up on a seaplane base up in the state of Minnesota. Father operated it. He is an excellent mechanic. As a teenager, he built his own helicopter. He's built many helicopters over the years. After building an instrument helicopter and not knowing how to fly it, he peppered it with cables to a stump and taught himself with a man to fly it. How does he fly with that hand out? And then again, the gotcha maneuver, the engine quits and it comes back in again. Now, I got to tell you that the excitement with John Moore is in the air. It's also on the ground. I talked to you about his helicopter work. They have developed a routine done by performers here at this show where they actually transfer a stuntman, who is usually Todd Green, from the top of this airplane to a helicopter flying overhead. Watch the other wing and the tail in relation to the grass. You cannot get any lower to the ground than John Moore on this grass cutting path. Centimeters off the ground. And he knows exactly what that distance is for that grass cutting. How about giving John Moore another big round of applause? You see, it's never over with John Moore. You always get more and more and more of John Moore. Oh, this guy is excited. He's fun to be around. What a great acceptance speech. There's the way for John Moore as he takes that left wing hit down towards the turf once again. A great induction two weeks ago tonight. He joins a very august group of aviation pioneers in the aviation state of Minnesota, and man, they have had many. And we were so proud that if he wasn't the youngest ever to be inducted, he certainly came all the way to Minnesota and made the uh, introduction to John. All right, now John off to your left. He's on final approach, but he's upside down. Now this gets the tower operators very nervous. They say, John, you're upside down. He says, no problem, no problem. I'll roll right side up. Okay, clear to land. No, John, don't do that on final approach. And John Snap rolls the airplane to unwind it. They, they say this uh, quote about this time. Man, I picked a bad day to quit sniffing glue. <laughs> and then the typical Lloyd Bridges, they jump out over the tower. That's from the movie Airplane. Now, do you think a guy with a 1940s airplane is going to land on the, on the runway? No. This airplane started out to be a grass field airplane, and that's where it is happy. So John puts it down in the grass. You have just watched the only man in the world that can make a stock World War II trainer dance like this. And when John Moore passes in front of you, give John Moore a big wave again. The noise from your applause is not heard, but the animation of your wildly waving arms and hands and hats are what he would appreciate. Hey, wait a minute, how can he keep that tail up? That's a tailwheel airplane. That tail is supposed to come down. And I think we're going to get a little bow. It's never over, never over until the sound is in the body. So a little magic act, now you see him, now you don't. Right, just on that little baby engine. Now wait a minute, hold your plug. Watch this. Typical of a crop duster, they never shut down that engine. The airplane will stop, idle slowly, unbuckle, get the belts off, stand up on the fuselage. And now let's hear the applause. Ladies and gentlemen, fresh from his induction into the Minnesota Aviation Hall of Fame, Art Scholl Showmanship winner, Bill, Bill Barber Showmanship winner, it is Mr. John Moore. Thank you, John. Okay, now we got action taking off from the right to the left. It is the Trojan Horseman.
the C-31 Friendship, that's the jump platform, and that will be doing a screamer drop, and as we allow the Trojan horsemen to gather up behind us, the Golden Knights to take off in front of us and drop that streamer. Let us tell you about some things.